I think, you know, the Arthur, she she struggled for me personally. She struggled with really defining the motivation behind each character. One thing you'll learn as a writer in an English course or even actors is to really decide what is the motivation behind this character? Why does the character walk the way they do? Why do they talk the way they do? Why do they smile, wink, you know, the way they do? There's always a motivation. And I think there were part of the book where she would start and then she'll hold back. And, you know, sometimes I was wondering to myself, what what is the motivation? Why is uh, Fola Sade doing this? Why is Quaker doing this? Why is Olu doing this? Why are these different characters doing this? Um, and although it forced me to really pay attention and it really forced me to focus on every little detail and to even write notes, it also um, frustrated me in some sense. And there were times when I'm like, I'm putting this book down. I don't know what's happening right now. And so that would be another critique I would say is to be more clear on the motivations of the character. Um, and I think the, the Arthur made mistakes in where she would focus too heavily on details that really didn't matter and um, didn't focus enough attention on details, this is all my personal opinion, that mattered more. So, you know, she would spend time uh, of really describing uh, uh, um, metaphors and abstract languages about a scene or about this or about a child or about, you know, looking out the window. And that was great and all, but there were times I said, I don't need this much detail to get the point. So back to being concise, back to being, keeping it simple. You know, my English teacher always told me, keep it simple, stupid. Back to taking out the clutter. So.